remember a lot of stuff when I was four or but five. You, you were on the you were on the young end. Okay. And Johnny was on the older end. Yeah, you were. You got, you got everything. Older, but I was in the middle. Yeah. Well, I remember. I mean, I was only three. And I remember that the old man came home with that 49 or 50 Lincoln that he bought. His memory is all cards. Cards, yeah. No, and I mean, cards. and so we get in it's and we're book. going, and I don't, I don't think yeah. Grandma and Grandpa were with us, but it was 1953 and he brought this black Lincoln Ford, or the one with the suicide doors, the old, old 50 Lincolns, home. And we got out on Sepulveda and with Mama and, you know, all you guys. Lights didn't work. <laughs> I mean, like half the car didn't work. And we got home, and he was so mad. And that's the next day he took that car back and gave it to him. And not the same year, I don't think, but gave that car back and got his money back somehow. Did something, went and bought that 53 Chevy, the, the light green four door. Mm. Uh, that was a long time ago. That was, well, that was 1953. Well, I remember when, that. When you were born, you were, and we talked about this the other night, you were so sick for so long. Mm. And uh, so we, Johnny and I would spend a lot of time up at our grandmother's. She mm. lived about two blocks up. Yeah, so actually, I was only really a block, really, but yeah. Well, but it was a pretty darn long block oh, when you're <laughs> five or six years old, you know? No, or did you, now, did you go down the street or did you go down the alley? Well, I went both ways. It <laughs> oh, okay. was a pretty darn far. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, we spent a lot of time at, at Grandma and Grandpa's sleeping over and, mm -hmm. and so on. And then uh, one day in 1955, I think it was right around there. The doctor told Mama that they needed to take Bill to live in a, a warmer, drier climate. Mm -hmm. So that's when we moved to Hawker Center. Center. Most people would go to Arizona. Yeah, but <laughs> they went down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> And we moved on Halloween Day of '56 to Lock Center. Yeah, I know, but we're not there yet. Well, okay, fine. Now we, we okay. you know, you're just like your mother. I'm telling this story. Every time one of us tries to say something, you interrupt. Okay, go ahead. Something in 55. I, I would say so because it was after Grandma died. She died, she died in '56. She died in April of '56. She died Bullshit. in 1955, and Bullshit. I was in Girl Scout. In fact, I, hey, I was there because Grandpa sent me to go get my mom up because Grandma was so sick. Mm -hmm. Tart, she died in April of 56. We moved in 56. We moved in Halloween 56, Halloween day. At some point, now we're gonna get in trouble. Fifties, <laughs> we moved we to Los Angeles. Now we're in May 1956. All right, and I'm not gonna argue with you. You're wrong, but I'm not going to argue. Bullshit! With you. It was Halloween day. What, we makes, always... what makes you so sure it was 56 and not 55? Which car was? Yeah. No, it was Where? before. It was, it was. It was. It was a few months before we moved to Locker Center. It was April to October. Well, okay. Good man. She thinks I'm wrong, but you know what? I'm looking it up. So go ahead. And how, how exactly are you going to look at How that? many Emma Dilworth Cunninghams are there? <laughs> <laughs> you let me know, Grandma, and find her. Okay, because she never worked. No, no, so I, they, I know she never no worked. There's no social but... security. There's no, you know, information on no. Anyway, Grandma's dead. Grandma's dead, <laughs> and we moved. Yes, the dad, so Mama took him up for a couple of weeks. They stayed in a little motel on Foothill Boulevard. The melee. No, it wasn't the melee. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it wasn't the melee. No, it was boy. down further and they torn all that stuff down already. Oh, but you know what we did too? We went to that restaurant that used to be right next door to Marsh Pharmacy in the Ralph's shopping center. Is that and right? there was that restaurant yeah. there, that little restaurant. They had a something. picture on the wall. I guess was supposed to be the Mona Lisa or something. <laughs> I always thought she was the oddest looking woman. <laughs> and why would they have a picture of her? You know, I, I don't even know it was Mona Lisa, but it's some weird looking broad up on the wall. And that's where Mama and I ate. And Marsh Pharmacy was there. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's that me, because I don't know. Because you weren't there. Anyway, mm -hmm. so they went up and tried it out and decided, yeah, they, they needed to move to Rock their <laughs> So here we go. He's You're tearing up our up. lives, He's moving us shadow. away from our friends. Yeah. What can I say? Yeah. So anyway, we moved all we knew to La Crescenta. Yes, we did. And how many miles is this? You know, it was probably 30 miles. Okay. Yeah, it was probably so maybe. And it was all surface streets. So there's no freeways there. So when we would, when we moved to La Crescenta, and then we'd go back to, to, to Mar Vista to see the friends, it was the other side of town. Mm -hmm. We were going to the other side of town. Yeah. That's the way it was. drive down through Los Angeles. Yeah, oh yeah, there was no freeways. Well, you know, people that lived in Glendale thought La Crescenta the water was, was way. right next to Palmdale. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Long distance. Yeah. I don't know, and I don't know how they found La Crescenta. I mean, I don't know why, why they decided about that. I don't really know. I'm sure it was a suggestion out of the from smog, somebody. Out of the yeah, fog, yeah. Out of the out of the fog. Because mom and I went up. It was less damp. Oh, mm -hmm. it was really. Now what, dry this, what they then. didn't tell you is that we moved in '56, October 31st, '56. <laughs> by the way, but what they didn't I tell you, I don't disagree with that. And, and then you know, and, but you what you don't know is that in 1959. Pasadena and La Cunada and all that was the worst smog, the worst smog mm -hmm. in Southern California. Oh, period. your eyes would burn. Period. Choking. Okay. And they said 59 was the worst year, peak year of smog. Of smog. Which I think would be worse for an asthmatic than the moist air of the ocean. That was must, a few it, years later, though. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah sure. probably wasn't probably as bad in 56. Yeah. And he but. was still sick. He was sick when, when we were in high school. Yeah, my last. Well, I will tell you this. So you're jumping in. No, I, my last. No, my last. My last and worst asthma attack was the only time I ever ended up in the hospital. They just started Rosemont. We were still in Briggs. I had just started Rosemont. That was probably September, and they ended up in Children's Hospital. The only time I was hospitalized. Worst attack I ever had. And then since that time, I mean, still. But you know, I don't know about it all anymore. But. Going, going away. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it, was, it was something. Yeah. It, it yeah, you don't want to talk about time you stuck the ice pick up my nose. We'll go on. No. I, I <laughs> really <laughs> don't know. It was, it was an accident. It was an accident. It's three minutes in an accident. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Hey, and, and rightfully so. A, it was an accident. And B, it was kind of scary. And C, Tart was scared. I was scared. And Mama came home and I'm just, you know. And and, the, so, and I don't know how he'd do it. It was due to her. And I don't know how he knew. She, you know, Tart's panicked. And I'm, she, you know, all right, the doctor, I think, left you home. Yeah, and, uh, left me home by myself. She was not scared. knowing if he was dead or alive. <laughs> And I he, mean, she drove him down. He wasn't dead. And he, did the, he did the trajectory, and he figured out it missed my eye by about a half inch. Mm. Uh, Didn't hit the brain. Anyway. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it was that. an ice pick she's using as a knitting needle. Yes. <laughs> and he just had to get in there. He just had to see what I was doing, and he was messing it all up. Yeah. And yeah. Just, we got in a tussle. And if yeah. there was an accident, how did it end up that far <laughs> somewhere you want fill in we were somewhere and we went out for the day mom and daddy and you and john and i and we came home and the termites covered the den floor that was the den floor was green concrete and it was black with termites oh, mama Ooh. took us to disneyland was that where it was and well, you, you and me and um, john and mama uh-huh and we came back from disneyland is that what it was mm, and these things were just crawling billions of them on the floor Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I didn't know we went to Disneyland. But I, knew, I knew we went somewhere and came home. Okay. Thank you. That so that was—I mean—that was one of the big stories. <laughs> but John and I slept in the den. 
Yes. On Bridge, your your bedroom was a two bedroom, which was a converted garage. No, no, that was later. Oh, that was no, then we moved yeah. them to the garage. See, they they never had a bedroom. They got they kicked got out of the bed, and then they had them for the garage. Did you yeah. have a bedroom? You slept in the den? That's right. They had two bedroom, two head house. Tar got one bedroom. Mom and Daddy got the other bedroom. There was a bathroom between those. Then we had a big, good sized living room, decent. And we had a good sized den opposite it. And that had a bathroom. Yes. Where I showered, a bathroom. Then we went out to the service porch, and the yeah. kitchen was over here. And John and I slept in the den. And. Then eventually, Daddy built the garage into a room. That's a whole long story, brother. Anyway, mm -hmm. and it was neat. I mean, the room was neat, stepped down, and it was, you know, and he did the acoustical ceiling that was all asbestos. Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, so, but I have a question, and maybe jumping ahead, I don't jump ahead. But Grandpa came to live with us. Well, Where did Grandpa sleep? Grandpa came to live with us. After the garage was converted, Bill, so we were. So you, I, you three boys. Was you Grandpa, and Grandpa was, there? was in Winnie? See, I don't remember that. Yeah. I remember if he lived with us, but he I don't. He lived with Aunt Ethel 57. until he couldn't stand it anymore. Yes. Aunt Ethel was not somebody you'd want to live with. I loved her. Except I know. <laughs> and and Darn, we should have sent you down there. <laughs> yeah, he should have switched. <laughs> Yeah, after Grandma died, we moved. Yeah, uh, Ethel, and moved, Ethel, Ethel moved first out of her apartment into this place. I mean, this was all planned that Glendale. she'd move up. You know, she was in Glendale. And Chevy we were Chase. In and then Grandpa was going to live with her again, which he did uh, probably for a couple of years or so. Grandpa but with Ethel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He just couldn't oh, stand I can't imagine anymore. the two of them. The Chevy <laughs> Chase. Oh, no. Exactly. Not, not our Grandpa. Oh. Not Roy. Yeah, not Roy. No, I can't our, make our Roy live anyway. <laughs> oh, no. oh, John Cunningham. Yeah, yeah. So he oh, did, yeah. and then he moved. He moved up with us. Her father. I mean, yes. Mama's father. Mama's father. Ethel's father. Ethel's and father. Ethel's father. Mm -hmm. Yes. But anyway, like I said, moving in with you. Mm -hmm. Well, Ethel, Ethel moved up there. <laughs> Just and maybe I think they moved up than we did, but I think they moved up there in 57. I think they moved up there just about the same time because Grandpa wouldn't have had any place to live. Well, he lived in the house on, on uh, Wasatch. Wasatch after Grandma died. I mean, it was his house, so he probably lived there until he and Ethel moved to... Because she lived down on Tower Drive. Right. And but they rented the house. They rented part of the duplex. That yeah, it could be, duplex. but maybe he was still renting it for a while after Grandpa died until they moved. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't think he was I on don't the know. street. But anyway, okay, we got him in Glendale on Chevy Chase. Yes. Yes. Yep. And, uh, but then he, see, I don't remember when he moved in with us. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't remember the year either. Well, and I don't remember him being there all that long, although I do know that he was there during the period where Mama was having a rough time with the you know, hoop. Because I know he was living yes, with us. Yes, but at he that was time. with Ethel during part of that time, too. Well, the first part. Well, he wasn't there in 61. Well, no, they already yeah, said 61. Well, he died, he died in 68. He lived at 12, 12 Oaks Lodge. Yeah, he did go to 12 Oaks he Lodge. He lived at 12 Oaks Lodge. He died the night I graduated from high school. Yeah. 68. Junior 68. Because that's why Ethel couldn't go to graduation because she was with Grandpa when he died. But yeah. But he went to 12 Oaks Lodge. But in the interim, he lived with us because I remember, and I guess we shouldn't go into all this, but I remember Grand Grandpa and Mama hiding all the knives. I don't remember that. I do. And I, I do. quite frankly, don't intend to go into put that any chat. of that in No, I wouldn't. Business. I wouldn't. Not... I'm just trying to put a timeline to it because yes. I know that he was yeah. with us. No, that, that was... Well, we wouldn't put any of that in, but... Not uh, But anyway, good time. And then he went to 12 Oaks Lodge. Uh -huh. well, but, but when he lived with us, he was good friends with Barbara Johns. Remember across the street? Yes. had the big oh, house. Oh, they used to go places. And they, she, she, she was still driving. She was still driving. So they, well, they she'd take John, and then they'd go walk, and he would walk by himself, and he'd walk with her, but he'd walk up Orange Cove. He'd always walk up Orange Cove and, you know, just come back, and that was his walking path and then okay. he'd walk down to Barbara John's house. And, yeah. Yes. Well, what, when did he do the 
the parking uh, the parking lot. That you know, we didn't talk about that. Trivet. When they Chester lived Trivet. on Cress uh, on Crestmore. Crestmore. Yes. Grandpa worked at a parking lot in Santa Monica yes. near the pier. He was yes. across yes. the street, right on that block. Right. There. And Mr. Trivet owned Chester the Trivet. Park parking lot. Mm -hmm. So he would go every day and work there. At one <laughs> and and Grandma used to take me when I was a little girl, and we'd get on the trolley. We had to walk down the hill from our house. I'd catch the trolley, and we'd take the trolley out to Santa Monica and get off and go see Grandpa. And I imagine maybe she had a little shopping to do or whatever. <laughs> then we'd get on and take the trolley back. But back then, up the middle of a lot of the streets, mm -hmm. the trolleys mm -hmm. ran. In the, even in Glendale, the trolleys mm -hmm. ran up right there. Right down the middle of the Boulevard. Yeah. And so we would do that, but and I don't remember exactly when it was, but Grandpa got hit by a trolley car. Yeah, he got hit by the trolley. And he was he was in the hospital and was asking for a piece of Beeman's gum or some <laughs> such thing like that, the gum they had back then. But I guess he was in pretty bad shape. Well, there he for almost a while. he almost died, and Mama said. And you know, because Grandpa, when he was older, and he was older, but he wasn't that old. I mean, yeah. he walked really slow. Yeah. And he, she said, he was never the same physically. Yeah. Because that really yeah. bummed him up a bit. He was almost, okay. he almost died. But he you was know, running across he to was, get one, and the other one came along and just hit him. Yeah. When, when he was 50 years old, he, he, looked like an 80 year old person now I, well you i know, thought they, so they too just looked but now older. how old would he have been because this was when they were at the parking lot and that would have been in crestmore so that would have been probably right after the war maybe yeah but he, he was born in 79. 1879 yeah i know okay so that's 20 years 40 he'd have been 60 65 probably well, that's Younger not what than, I said, wasn't it? I can't. Whatever you said. I agree. <laughs> shit. I am not going to argue with you. But go uh, tell them about the time that the bookies. Chester Trivet was a bookie. Is that right? I got this from John. Oh, I, never, okay. I never knew this, but John knew this story. And so Chester Trivet, who owned the park, that was a bookie. And the day the cops came in and busted the operation. And I don't remember anymore now that they didn't arrest Grandpa or anything like that, but I think they arrested him. Driven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a bookie. Um, and whether Grandpa knew that or not, who knows, you know, maybe Grandpa was making bet on this line too, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know any more than that, but yeah, well, Trivet was a bookie. Grandma said that one one time when he was at the parking lot there, a friend came by and um, gave her talk and you know, grand, Grandpa had problems with his heart, and this friend had problems with his heart, and the, so they exchanged medicines. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't have the same problem with their heart. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, but apparently one one opened the blood vessels. One closed the blood vessels. And they got oh, and they both ended up. <laughs> Mine's Crazy. not working so good. Let me try yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is really good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. You know, on some days I can think things. Of things. I write it down. And, well, I'm going to have to start doing that because I think, well, I remember that. I remember that. So mm -hmm. next well, time you're, already on, you're already on Briggs. You know, we've got Grandpa living in a few different places, whether it was Chevy Chase with us or on uh, 12 Oaks. And he died, well, he went into the, the nursing home for a while, but he was basically living at 12 Oaks. When he, yeah, when but he you know, I think he only lived there a year, year and a half. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe longer maybe than, maybe that. than that. Well, no, he, hold on. He had to, because we moved to the apartment in November of 62. Right. Okay, and he died in '68. So there you've got there you've got six years right there. And when we moved to the apartment, he didn't move with us. So he had to go to Twelve Oaks. When we I went. guess but it was longer yeah, than I thought. Have, I thought it was just well, such a short time. Well, do the math. You have to because we moved to the thirty-one thirty-one in November '62, 
and he had to go somewhere. And he didn't go anywhere other than 12 Oaks. Well, and he didn't know. go because we moved. He he was there. And he may have been. Prior to so that. So that's that makes it longer. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah well, I do. But I, I don't know when he moved out from Briggs, but I know that obviously he wasn't, he was at 12 Oaks when we moved from Briggs. Yeah. When they were going, that was November 62. And, uh, yes, and I started the long track. <laughs> so we got. But there are more stories. I mean, were you ever going to do Bass Lake? Or are you weaving it in and out? Or are you. Well. I mean, how are you going to do it? Well, how I'm going to get the information is I'm going to have it all in a section by itself, but. Yeah. To put it together with the whole thing. I didn't know if it was those on chapter. I she can't argue with you if you talk about that story. No, but but no, she's not gonna argue with you anyway, because I'm right, at least half the time. Yeah. But 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 I just wonder how because now you're on Briggs, and even when we were on Wasatch, that was a big part of the history. Okay. I, mean, I, kn I know what I would what I wanted to talk about before they got there okay. was when I was a little girl. I had an imaginary friend. I had a couple of them. No, of course, of course. I had a couple of them. One was named Dave, but what was the other one? No. <laughs> oh, it was Cowboy Slim and Two Gun Peter. Pete. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> You're right. That's right. And I That's... remember now that you said it. I remember that. There, and we would go out on the range on a Saturday morning when when nobody was up yet, and. On the corner of our block where we lived, our house was on the corner, and there was a stop sign there. Yeah. And that that was where we tied up our horses. Was to that. Cool. And we did, and, and we went out on the range, and we just did all this stuff. But I I always wanted to be a cowgirl. And then when we were in the house, Johnny and I would sit on. Each of us on the arm, arm the of the, the chair with a pillow for our saddle, and we'd watch the cowboy shows on TV. Mm -hmm. and had I, a rope for the yeah, bridle. had a rope. Yeah, we had a rope for the bridle, and we just rode those mm -hmm. horses till whatever. But then we were going someplace in Ethel's, no, yeah, in, in Daddy's. 53 Chevy. 53 Chevy. Like we used green. to go out Two on ten. the weekends sometimes, and we go for a ride, and yes. we take a picnics, and we have lunch, and, right. and so on, but went different places. Well, I got in, the Johnny got in the back seat, and I got in the back seat, and then here comes Aunt Ethel, gonna get in the back seat. So she got in and sat down, and I started screaming and crying, and or she just jumped out of there so fast, she thought she hurt me. Oh, <laughs> why'd you start screaming and crying? Aunt Ethel, for God's sake, it wasn't the buggy there. Because I told her she sat on Cowboy Slim. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no my wonder. Gosh. She, well, poor she, Yeah, the look on her face was something, and Mama just got after me. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I don't remember ever be, knowing anything more about Cowboy Slim and yeah. Two Gun Peter after I, that. I've only heard you talk about I don't remember the oh. experience, but well, um, you were really little because I was really little. Well, see, but a little after that, you got a little older. Don't you remember the old man used to give us trailer rides? Hook up the trailer, give us trailer rides. You, don't, re I you don't, don't remember? You don't remember trailer remember. rides? No. Absolutely illegal. I mean, there ain't no doubt about it. But he only went around the you know yeah, the neighborhoods yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Trailer rides? Oh, oh we had to get John out here. He remembered those. But yeah, he used to hook up the trailer, take all the kids to trailer rides. Oh my goodness. Which you know was totally illegal. Yeah. So, and the the Thomases down on the other end of they the block, had Burroughs or they Thomas. had Dusty and Francis. Was that yes? And yes. we used to take the put their halter on them, and yeah. we'd take them out, walk them around the neighborhood. All of us kids. Here's this donkey going with about six or eight kids around it. We'd walk. We walked him up to the little store at the top of the hill. I, I, that was probably illegal time. too. I don't think they were legal. Oh, I'm 
Probably not. But, but you know what? Back then, I'm not sure anybody got too excited if you had mm -hmm. some animals in your yard. But I, I, I still have a mark where where Francis bit me. Really? Oh yeah, he bit me a good one on my that on is my finger. Very cool. But uh, is yeah, he gonna rain? No, please don't that say that. Was crazy. Because we're gonna leave it three. Because I gotta get that boat done. Now, okay. so we got the donkeys. The donkeys, you don't remember trailer rides, that's too bad. Didn't have around, but he did it. He put us in there. I don't know. Oh, I remember. Was it Uncle John? Would take the kids when we were launching your boat. Oh, yeah, you got a ticket. I remember in the that in the, the, the boat. You boat did that for there. a long time until you got a ticket. Oh, my gosh. Nowadays, how dangerous that. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I gotta tell you, it's not part of the history, but that was Thomas's. Okay, so you go down. What street was that? They were on. They were on the corner over here, over here, Victoria. What went down to Beethoven's school? Yeah, well, on both on both sides was, was the Victoria. I thought over here. What were we on? We were on Windward. Windward. So they. But Windward, we always went down to Victoria. Windward. We walked in the end yeah, of the I think block it was Victoria. and down. Well, on that street, they went down. Started to go downhill after Thomas's. And I remember one time, and Johnny Thomas may have been with me, but I don't think so. I don't know why. But anyway, a, a guy had a neat old car, like a Model A or something. It was parked right down near Thomas and Thomas. It had running boards. I thought that car was so neat. I got up on the running boards to look at the car, <coughs> and the owner, an old man, came out and started shaking me, grabbed me and started shaking me. I went home crying. Boy, the old man, let me tell you. Oh. He went down and he talked to that boy. That man it was an old man. Uh -huh. Oh, daddy was pissed. Okay. I was scared. Yeah. Oh, I did that. I don't re remember. I just remember he got mad and went. I didn't go with him. You know, but uh -huh. Mama said, yeah. No physical. Yeah. Him what for, just you know? understand. Yeah, well, that's right down by Thomas's house. Yeah. Well, again, I remember that when Johnny was first going to school, I guess we were all the same. I don't remember about Bill, but. He would cry and cry. She's trying to take him to school and drop him off in kindergarten and so on. She finally got to the point where uh, Hallie Davies across the street was taking Freeman to right. school. And he was Johnny's little friend. So uh, Mama would go out and open the door and throw Johnny in the back seat. <laughs> Hallie would take off and go, oh my God. I remember crying in that one in school, but I only... Over there, I, and it was only over there, it wasn't at Mother Vista, but I was only in kindergarten. I mean, kindergarten was the only, and I think, because we moved in October, I think I just started. Well, yeah, because you grade. and John just, were both on the half session. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just had started first grade, I think, when we moved. But I was mainly in, at Beethoven in kindergarten. Yeah. I mean, that's basic. That was the extent of yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I, I, I do remember when we moved to Lug Center, Miss Bell in the first grade. Ah, Miss Bell. There you go. I don't know. See, I was in the fifth grade. I had Mr. Mooney. Oh, you had Mooney? I had Mr. Mooney. Mooney was around for a while. Yeah. And I don't remember who I had for sixth grade. She was a lady. I had Al Cope. 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 Yeah. He must have still been there because they didn't have any male. They didn't have many male teachers. Yeah. And Durley was the principal. And Mooney was there. And, and Cope was there. I don't, I don't know if there was any. Moranic? Was that? Was that I high? remember a Mr. Baranek, but Baranek? was he in junior high? School, high school, he may have, he may have junior high school. I just remember that. Mr. Baranek. And, and Mr. Janet, would you bring me here? Yeah. Anyone else have anything? You want, I think I've got, whatever Rob bought, is probably another Corona. Yeah, give David Corona, I'll take whatever Rob bought. Um, yeah, I think Baranek maybe was, maybe Rosemont or something. But I think Mooney and Cope were the two men. I thought, oh, well, when I got sixth grade, oh, I had a male teacher. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was a stern looking dude. Uh -huh. He was a cute, great teacher. Is that right? Yeah, he was just a, a great teacher. I loved him. But, uh, well, that's, that's me. So, where are you at? Well, I, I'm, I'm just trying to think. I want to talk about Johnny and his friends. <laughs> yeah, the friends that he met in seventh grade and had, they died. I always tell people that story. It's just an amazing story to me. Yeah. You know. And talk, so many, you know, so, so many showed of up. Them. Yeah. Well, and so many of them showed up in Arizona. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, a couple of them have died, had died. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. 
Now, they weren't all necessarily from high school. A lot of them were. Some of them were a little later, like Al Crowley. And, and, yeah, uh, but A few still, of them were a little bit later. But a lot they of, were definitely... But who was the guy that died really early? Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall, Gary Marshall. yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Mark Ridge. Mark Ridge. Yeah. What did he die of? He had cancer. cancer. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't want to get off track, but we'll get to it. But the, the boys I remember all. The girls I only remember Sharon Churchill. Or Jeannie. Well, I mean, yeah, Jeannie was Denny's. You know, I'm just yeah. thinking of John's individual friends. I think, I think Sharon Churchill was the only. There was the only love of record. From school. Yeah, yeah. Now that did. that girl, when he had his sixteenth birthday, and Mama got sick, I was she my, and her I, parents. I remember when Mama got sick. All right, Rob's gotta go.